The following video contains elements that may be offensive to some viewers. Discretion is extremely advised, so please leave or find some other video to watch if the aforementioned video is offensive to you. However, if you do watch the video and you still find it offensive to you, don't point fingers or get mad after the fact. In other words, you you've been, been, been warned. warned. Men and women just don't get along. Like I hear women say this all the time. I know a lot of you sisters would be like, chivalry is dead, don't you? Don't y'all feel that way? Like men aren't gentlemen anymore? That's right. Chivalry is dead and women killed it. Hello there, it's DB. Do you know it has been nearly two decades since Dave Chappelle said that foretelling, quote, on his 2000 comedy special, Killing Them Softly. This was the year 2000. This was years before the Me Too and the Times Up movements were even thought of. Now, back in the year 2000, I mean, men and women really weren't getting along back then. I mean, because you still had women who were still ticked off and offended by misogynist lyrics uh, from gangster rap, and justifiably so. And men were also uh, justifiably offended how TV sitcoms portrayed men in general, and black men in particular, of making the dad look like an idiot or being portrayed as ineligible bachelors in movies like uh, 1995's Waiting to Exhale and other films. But now, nearly two decades later, anyone, I think it's pretty much safe to say that it's really, really, really bad now. If it was bad in 2000 between uh, male and female relationships, I think it's pretty much gotten worse. I mean, it's really gotten to and gotten to the point where you have people making divorce parties where people are breaking up uh, with their ex. And not only that, you even have people, you know, it, it, it's gotten so bad that women would rather marry themselves than marry a, a, a man. And it's gotten so bad for men that, you know, a man would rather marry an appliance than with a woman. Now, the following clip that I have uh, is from uh, ABC News by the reporter Lindsay Davis. And she's talking about how some women are committing, or rather commit sologamy or marrying themselves than being with the opposite sex and this protected by fair use. And yeah, I had like 20, 30 friends over. Yeah. The only thing missing, the groom. I will go the bouquet somewhere. <laughs> the 36-year-old tying the knot was all about making a formal commitment to the love of her life, herself. Yeah, I've been told I'm a great catch in today and catching myself. Do you feel like part of it was just an outward self-validation? Absolutely, because I think it's hard not to adopt whatever society's messages are. And I certainly think that one of the messages is like, you're not enough if you're not with someone else. Hi, it's Carrie Bradshaw. I wanted to let you know that I'm getting married to myself. The notion of getting hitched solo was made popular by the show Sex in the City. Think about it. If you are single after graduation, there isn't one occasion where people celebrate you. A pivotal scene. So thanks. Bye. That sparked the beginning of this self-loving movement. One giant step for me, one small step for single womankind. These ceremonies are just one way in which many women are embracing a modern day reality. There are more single women than ever. Roughly half of all adults in the U.S. are married. A record low compared to the 72% of adults in 1960. You're breaking the box entirely. Sasha Kagan has been following the self-marriage trend for more than a decade. I think it helps to deepen that commitment to self-love, which just isn't an easy thing in our world where we're constantly comparing ourselves on Facebook. Kagan knows <laughs> firsthand. She too married herself. Basically, it makes you more developed as a person you're committed to treating yourself well and that means you're going to treat another person better too this concept is slowly going mainstream dearly beloved we are gathered today to join sue sylvester and sue sylvester in holy matrimony from tv shows like glee 
This is insane. What? To this Lifetime movie. And I cherish myself. Well, then why don't you just marry yourself? Appropriately called I, yeah. Me, Wed. You know what? That's not such a bad idea. But watch me. And the wedding industry is taking notice. The I Married just... Me kit is essentially a starter kit for self-marriages. We wanted this to be super accessible. Jeffrey mm -hmm. Levine and Bonnie Powers are the masterminds behind the kit. Oh, yeah. They say they were inspired by their own nuptials. While they said their vows, they had their guests marry themselves. The idea was... I think a lot of people don't know, well, how would I even start? What, what would I do? In the last three years, they've sold more than 200 kits and counting as more women choose to embrace this new tradition. Getting married here is, uh, yeah, it's everything that I could have wanted. Petra Hansen also chose to put a ring on it. I kept getting the question, like, how come you're not married? Why aren't you married? And what's wrong with you for not being married? And uh, I was getting a little tired of answering that question so she took a stand a woman's chance to be wanted and worthy in our culture is actually measured in dog years we are really given this little window to find a mate find a family have it all you know before we're 35 and it just isn't realistic she's lived a successful life a fashion designer by trade even a rock star at one point but marriage she says was never part of her plan towards the end of my 30s things started to kind of wind down and by 40 that's when i started to feel the real pressure of gee i missed the boat i'm thinking tool i'm thinking bright colors but she says this is another option and while buying the ring and sketching the dress were easy, I wanted to make an announcement. Turns out telling loved ones about her plan is proving slightly more difficult. <laughs> I'm getting engaged to myself. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting married. I have, I have more questions. OK. <laughs> I just don't want to be, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of nut job. It doesn't hurt anyone. It, it doesn't take away from anyone. And you're celebrating your own relationship to yourself. Validation from a friend. <laughs> some people say the first year is the most difficult. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some ups and downs. Yeah. <laughs> As for Erica Anderson, she recently celebrated her one year anniversary. Has your relationship with yourself changed pre and post wedding ceremony? I feel like it has. In looking at my relationship to dating, because it is, you know, an open marriage. Um, because you're clear. still open to dating. So yes. even though you are enough yes. and you're fulfilled alone, right. you're still willing to have someone else join your space. Yes, absolutely. Yes. But you don't have to have it. Mm -hmm. For now, she says she's happily married. And this is certainly one marriage that won't end in divorce. Someone else here be so lucky to marry themselves. Are you slurring my words? In New York, I'm Lindsay Davis for Nightline. I don't want to say you got to be real, but you have to be really honest with yourself. You have to be really honest with yourself. And... Hopefully there won't be a whole lot of women marrying themselves. Because like I said, there's going to be a lot of legal problems. You know, how are you going to divorce yourself? Say if you do meet somebody, how do you divorce yourself? That is, if it's legally binding, of course. Then you're going to have to ask yourself, you know, you know, how I'm going to get a divorce and do I have to pay myself alimony? Do I have to give away half, my, half of my stuff? Do I have to give away half of my stuff? To me, that's just something to think about. That's why guys don't do this because when it costs money, and plus, not to mention, <laughs> if someone try to do wanted to go out with you, and they found out you, and they go and and they Google you, find out that one time in 2017 or whatever 2000 and whatever, you married yourself. You think you're going to get a date after that? No, probably not. Well, there you have it from uh, Lindsay Davis from ABC News. But now let's talk about the guys. Now, the guys, um, you know, I mean, many years, guys have been talking about they're going to, you know, go to some place you know, and, and get some type of sex robot. And, you know, guys have been joking about it for years, several years. I mean, even back in 1987, 
There was a film called Cherry 2000 that came out like 30 years ago. And it was about this guy who has like this domestic robot named Cherry 2000. And, you know, she cooks and cleans. She pretty much does everything, even polices the guy in the bedroom. Well, in the movie, uh, you know, not to give it away, but Cherry 2000 uh, blows a circuit, you know, while they're, you know, uh, getting intimate. And uh, it's destroyed, and he has to get, you know, uh, find a brand new Cherry 2000. I mean, he, he still has the disc of her, you know, all their data and stuff. And he goes to uh, try to find a place where they sell these Cherry 2000s. Now, the one that he had discontinued. So, uh, the thing is, the ones that they have are not exactly as cute as the Cherry 2000 he had. It's kind of like, you know, if you've been driving, you know, Ferraris and... and you know, Mercedes Benz is all day, all your life. And, and you know, you go from driving a Benz to a Hyundai. Well, anyway, here's the uh, trailer for it. And uh, you might see a very young Lawrence Fishburne. But anyway, check out the uh, trailer and you'll, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Fair use. In the future, the world has survived. Romance has not. All right, so we'll say a dinner, complete sexual encounter, optional episode in the morning, right? I gotta run this past my own lawyer. Pleasure is strictly business. But it will be possible to have the perfect mate. A Cherry 2000. Looks great. Thanks. Thoughtful. Desirable. She'll never run out on him. Just short out. I'm sorry, kid. Total internal meltdown. Now you got her basic memory right here. Vocal patterns, verbal, whatever. Basic voice. Don't look so glum. Your chassis's out for the count, all right? You got the chip. You go in, you pick yourself out a new model. You slide it in the slot. You got yourself your girl bag in a brand new frame. Give me a call if you find a cherry. Cherry 2000. Look, my friend, you're going to be a very old man, round in the middle and bone dry before you find one of those in these parts. That's a chance I'll just have to take. Then, the adventure begins. Why don't you hire a tracker to go into Zone 7? Oh, we got a policy against trackers in these parts. Nobody goes into Zone 7. Remember got one of the original warehouses down there? Girls stacked on the shelves like pies. I'm looking for someone to go into Zone 7. I'm E. Johnson. <laughs> You're not going to find anybody better than me, mister. I'm not a machine. Do you know where they keep these babies? We call it the graveyard. It is the worst place in the zone. Well, maybe I can get in there and find this thing, but I need somebody riding shotgun in order to make it out in one piece. I want you to chase those birds till they drop. If you think it's tough to meet the right people now, wait till you go looking for a Cherry 2000. What's so really eerie about it that it took place in the year 2017. Now what was last year? 2017. Coincidence? Well, there you go. But anyway, to, to make the long story short, I'm not going to give any spoilers. you got to see the movie for yourself. I mean, basically, the guy, the, the guy uh, hires Melanie Griffith to fly overseas to get this brand, uh, this, this brand or make of a Sherry 2000 that he's in love with. And I know it sounds immature and stuff like that. You know, I know some ladies and maybe a few men think it's kind of crazy that guys are doing this, you know, going this is doing this extra stuff in your in order to find affection but you gotta think about it i mean what do what what person anyway would want to get a ticket or get arrested for street harassment or or get a charge of uh of of, of, a, of a false uh, accusation you know with this me too uh movement going on i mean ask aziz i'm sorry i'm just saying just saying people
No one wants to get a you know a, a ticket for that. I mean, my goodness, that's worse than jaywalking. You know, and 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 ladies, let's be honest. I know you already. Some of y'all already upset that you know that men already take enough time you know playing video games. If you think that's uh, insensitive and immature, you're going to be really upset if uh, you know if his video game console was shaped like a supermodel and can cook, clean, play Madden, and you know <laughs> treat him well. You know, and that's that's scary. Let's hope that that Xbox and, and PlayStation don't come out with a with a robot like that. You know, or, or Apple, heaven forbid. You know. Now coming from Apple, the eye booty. <laughs> but anyway, but I digress. Anyway, um, I know it sounds sounds like a very nice fantasy, but even guys, come on, you know, guys, you know we can't, you know, you know we can't bring a doll like that to the family reunion or to you know weddings and Thanksgiving dinner and Christmas dinner. To my hey, who's the girl? Oh yeah, she's right here. You know, kids gonna be messing around trying to put plug in their tablets and you know into her and trying to find a dog on you know usb port or something to plug something in there that's that's weird man that's weird as much as stuff going on right now we have to go and have to find a man and women are going to have to find a way to get along with each other to interact with each other not i mean maybe this is a way for us to get off the smartphones and actually talk to one another instead of just you know, getting their smartphone and just texting to each other and whatnot. Just actually talking to some maybe that's one thing that's maybe that's one legacy of Cherry Two Thousand. We could, that people are depending on electronics. Electronic devices to get along with each other instead of just get along with each other, period. Actually interact with each other. And not with some type of electronic device or some type of crutch we're using it as a crutch I hope y'all get what I'm saying and the sad part is in some cases it's gonna get worse before it gets better but I really do hope that the sexes can get along I'm Derek Barrett and that was my thought to ponder DB out